Hey everyone, this is Uncommit Cap with Trade Out Loud. Welcome to the weekly outlook for the week starting with February 4th, 2019. And uh, right now it is uh, 6.34 p.m. Eastern Time. The market is open and let's get started. We're going to begin with the E-mini Dow. This is the weekly chart. And last week we had a pretty bullish move. Now I want to show you uh, the monthly chart. The monthly chart is very bullish as you can see right now. So we pretty much closed the month on a very bullish note and also notice that we have an inside monthly bar which can project higher if we actually hold the current uh the current levels and we're going to talk about the levels that i'm watching for this week let's go back to the weekly charts uh the line in the sand is going to be at 24 180 so if we break below the 180 actually the 200 to 180 so that's a, a very little cushion area that we're going to be looking at if we rotate and go back down into the 24 200 zone we're going to go back down i think it's going to be a temporary uh it's going to be a temporary short term low uh that may take the price all the way to 24,000 and possibly into the 24 uh 24 400 but at this point this is going to be again the minor uh minor support for uh, for price action and from this point on we could actually see another attempt at rotating and try to take this monster trend back to new highs now as you can see right now the weekly chart closed on a very strong note at twenty five thousand, and uh we made actually a new high and we actually triggered a new monthly reversal the high for friday was 24 143 and we closed again like i said <coughs> excuse me like i said into the twenty five thousand. right now we're trading at 24 982 if we break over uh friday's high the 25 143 we're actually going to move a little bit higher so the next target that we're going to be looking at is the 25 300 so we have a tradable void of about 300 points now let's take a look at some immediate uh immediate uh price action uh and trade ideas for the beginning of the week uh as you can see the daily chart i hovered into the daily chart right now where we pretty much have a doji this is a very sideways day we ended the month uh, we ended i'm sorry not the month but the week on a sideways uh, we ended the day on a sideways note within a bullish month uh so the the line in the hand the line in the sand here is that we're still gravitating into a lot of uh, a lot of support zone into the 24 800 so even if we get pullbacks into the 24 800 we're still going to be looking for a pullback buy scenario that may take the price back into the 25,000, 25 140 25 150 and back like i said into the 25 uh 25 400 so like i said we still have that of uh, that room of three to four hundred points of overhead res in, into the uh, overhead resistance all right let's move on to the one hour chart so one hour charts definitely has a lot of support into the twenty five thousand uh zone as you can see this is the core of the range into the twenty five thousand. if the overnight price action is going to take the price at least into the 25050 price is going to uh start moving higher into the 25100 and like i said to 25143 which is the high from last friday we got a blast over this price like i said clear tradable void for at least two to three hundred points to the upside uh now what happens if we pull back well if we pull back we still have plenty of support into the 24 900 this is going to be the first area of support and then the next area of support is going to be the 24 800 zone at this point in time i'm not going to be overly uh, overly aggressive short at this point so i'm still going to be looking for a confirmation with price as you can see really shallow gap down into support right here that happened uh about 30 minutes ago 24 938 being tested and rotate it back up very very quickly so we're actually uh we're uh we're actually really moving uh pretty nicely right now uh from uh from this support level all right let's check out the four hour chart as we're uh heading uh into the overnight trading session uh like i said if we cross over the twenty five thousand and twenty five uh twenty five zero twenty uh, zero fifty to sixty we're gonna blast higher so this is gonna be the line of the stand we break over this area uh definitely this is gonna be a big breakout that will occur at this price range like i said uh, uh next target levels are going to be way above into those tradable voids into the 200 and 300 so that's two to three hundred points 
400 the next target area after the 400 so we pretty much uh, can move in 100 point increments all right so this is the mini &E dow now let's move on to the mini &E and p 500 we're gonna go uh top down on these major u.s indices and we're gonna start with you guessed it the monthly chart because the monthly chart uh let's go here to the monthly chart let's give it a little bit of more data here i just had to rebuild my whole layout because I had a bug in my finger swing platform, so I had to rebuild and start from scratch. All right, so last month, uh, month of December, I'm sorry, a month of December, not last month, uh, the month of December did a retest into the 50 SMA, and uh, we closed a very, very strong January. And in fact, we peekabooed above the 10 exponential moving average. The price is right now trading at this 10 EMA. A very strong monthly candle. If we force this high, and don't forget, this is the trigger from last April. So we're exactly into that uh, April trigger point into the 27.20. We blast over 27.20. We're definitely going to move higher. The next top is going to be 27.80. So we're still, we still have a plenty of support here into the 20 sma from the monthly chart so even a pullback into the 20 sma may project some more uh support for, for further price action that could actually pop it higher now let's move on into the weekly chart weekly charts a little bit more difficult than the imini &E dow chart imini &E dow no doubt one of the strongest uh chart patterns structures that we have uh, we had the retest into the uh, retest into the 200 simple moving average on December 24th. Really nice move up with a weekly reversal, a weekly buy into the 25.25 level, and we've come a long way because we had a pretty strong. We ha we've had actually pretty strong weeks. So one, two, three, four, five, six strong weeks. Right now, if we're gonna trade above 27.16. We actually have room for a projection higher back into the 2730. Now, this is the area where turbulence should uh, should start uh, between the 2733 and 2750. This is going to be a high turbulence area. We have a, uh, we have a couple of moving averages here that are going to create that turbulence in price. But if we pretty much close strong uh, as we're transitioning and as we're pushing higher through these moving averages, uh, we can see price progression all the way to 2800. So pullback buys that are going to be in play for me this week, especially if we break above 2717. If we break below 2615 to 2614, uh, we're going to be entering a sell a sell cone that may uh, push the uh, price lower at least 50 points. So into the 2550 zone. All right, let's take a look at the daily chart. Daily chart still a little bit of room into the 200 symbol moving average. As you can see, the, as you saw earlier, the uh, 200 mini, uh, 200 uh, SMA in the Dow uh, is exactly where the price is trading right now. So it's caught into that 200 SMA. Here we still have a little bit of room, so the price needs to work uh, work a little bit up. On Friday we had a pretty sideways day, so we had uh, basically what happened is we had a push up. Uh, into uh, the newer trading session. We actually made a new high of 27.16 and throughout the afternoon, we pulled back into the bottom of the base into the uh, 26.96 and pretty much we're holding right now within that core zone. All right, let's move on to the hourly chart and see what's in store for the overnight price action and for tomorrow. If tomorrow we're gonna break over the 27.8 to 27. 10 zone we're gonna push higher definitely we're gonna get that push into the high on friday 2716 and further uh further targets right into that 200 sma which is into the 2740 zone uh what happens if we break below well here's the thing i'm not in, uh, completely bearish on this move why well because we have plenty of support from this prior resistance high into the 2692 and uh, i'm i'm only going to be bearish like i said from this daily chart so for me it's going to be pretty simple that if we cross below uh the 20 26 uh 2676 then i'm going to be looking to be a little bit more bearish but since uh, since we have this 10 ema here into the 2670 i'm still going to be looking for a pullback buy so as far as uh, my trading is concerned, I'm still going to be looking for breakouts over 27.10 for a continuation higher. Let's move on to NASDAQ. Uh, NASDAQ is, uh, let's uh, check out with the monthly chart first. 
and spectacular inside month. This is setting up very bullishly. Uh, 69.45 is going to be the blast for higher, and uh, we could actually see a high of 27. Th uh, I'm sorry, 70, uh, 70, 40 zone. Now let's move on to the weekly chart. Weekly chart still very strong. We still have a lot of bottoming tails right here forming. Uh, if we break above uh, 69.40, we're going to blast higher. But again, like the Eminem S&P, it's going to have some turbulence right into these moving averages here. 7,000 to uh, to 7, 70, 7,000 to 70, 50 to 70, 60. This is going to be the turbulence zone. And once we get that push into it higher, uh, this is going to be uh, this is going to be really good for price action because the more we close above these moving averages, we're going to chew up some of that uh, turbulence from the left-hand side. Also, these moving averages and the price is getting ready to get on that monster trend. Don't forget that on Monday after the market closes, Google is going to report earnings. Google, big component in, of NASDAQ, is definitely going to uh, do the trick. So if uh, we're going to have some bullish earnings from Google, we may see that full throttle pushing higher over this 7,000 and holding the price above. All right, let's move on to the daily chart and let's see how we're shaping up for tomorrow morning for the New York trading session. As you can see, we still have a, a plenty of room for a uh, move higher into the 7050. 7,000 is going to be the first target. 7040 is going to be the second target. As long as we're holding these highs, and don't forget that we have this prior high here from January 18th, which represents minor support for current price action level, the 6820, and we may get a push higher. So pullback buy for me is going to be the case for higher. Now, one thing that I want to mention from the weekly chart, uh, am I going to be bearish only under, uh, am I going to be bearish? Yes, but I could be bearish for short term only under 66.90 and with a target of 60, uh, 64.70 or 64.50. Okay, and this is for the downside case. So that's when I'm going to be bearish. Now, Moving on to the four hour chart, pretty much holding the support level of 68.50, as long as we're gonna be holding the support level, <coughs> excuse me, and a punch through 69.25, 69.25 is gonna be the bull buy area for a continuation higher, like I said, for the 7,000. Let's move on to Russell, and let's see how Russell is shaping up. Russell has been the trendsetter since last year from February. We noticed it first, as the trendsetter so support into the 1495 also represents su uh, support from this minor uh from this resistance area now minor support uh into the 1495 we also have the 50 simple moving average holding the price in check here if we get a blast over 1506 we're definitely going to push a little bit higher and this is for short term what we can expect for the overnight trading session and also for tomorrow new york trading session all right let's take a quick look at the four hour four hours suggesting the same if we're going to uh if we're going to push over the 1505 uh, definitely we're going to have higher targets and the next target area that we have inside is going to be 1550. Wow. That's a lot of room higher. It's about 50 points from where we are trading right now. So that's a really nice area. Uh, we're going to do the daily chart, daily chart still. This is the area that I'm expecting the first targets into the 45 and 50s. If we're going to still push to the upside from the daily. Weekly chart, when am I going to be bearish? If bearish, if we trade below 1462, I'm going to be looking for further price action. Like I said, I'm not going to be looking for a major sell, but I'm looking for a pullback back into the 1450 to 1435 from which we can actually rotate again and push a little bit higher. We break above last week's high, which is Friday's high right here. And Friday's high is at 1506.7. This is it right here. And if we roll over this high, 1550 is going to be the next target. So guess what? Pull back buys all the way. All right, let's move on very quickly to the monthly chart because I want to show you we still have an inside bar uh, compared to December's bar. So you can see that this is setting up very bullishly. We have a little bit of turbulence into the 1530 to 1540, and this is from this 10 exponential moving average. But as we chew the price along the way, and we're going to get some bullish, if we're getting some bullish moves, I think we're going to definitely move higher. Let's move on to gold. Uh, gold, we're going to start with the monthly chart. Very, let, let, let me just give it a little bit more room here. Uh, okay, let's do 20, 20 is fine. All right, so we're setting up for, uh, this is the monthly chart. Set the low here in 2016, higher low, higher low right here back in 2018 in August. 
where we revisited some of those lows below 1200 and we are reversing beautiful into this resistance do we still have room to move higher yes into the 1250 and 1260 1260 is going to be the next resistance area but guess what if we blast over throughout this year if we blast over the 1360 this opens the door for higher prices into the 1400 and back into the 1500 back into the 1550 so this is a really nice uh trajectory higher one two three months four months bullish months right here this came with a reversal continuation 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 so we are really working out as you could see the moment have started we had a we had a really slow start and then we just blasted higher in december blasted in january and we're right here into the 30s area like i said we still have a little bit of room and the air is a little thin here into the 1350 but definitely we're going to be watching for a continuation higher i actually did not trade gold but i traded gdx and with great results so i really like the fact that the risk was way less than the futures contract all right let's move on to the weekly chart weekly chart a little bit extended we have two big blasts uh to the upside i don't think this is the end of the momentum because we still have look at the volume still have pretty steady volume we didn't have a really big spike up in the volume that would suggest that the price would slow down so i think that we still have a lot of room into the 1360. now keep in mind that last week we still have a we had we had a really really big bar if this week we're gonna trade above 1330 1330 to 1331 this will assure continuation that may push the price back in higher into the 50 uh 1350 zone we haven't been trading in that 1350 zone for quite some time as you can see here from uh wow that's that's a whole lot of time you can see the timestamp down here all right so um let's move on to the daily chart daily chart doji rotating a little bit i think that from the daily chart we may be a little bit extended although we have not entered uh into an overbought area just yet but from the momentum i think that we're trying to slow down as long as we're holding this 1320 uh level steady we may still see a break higher over 1328 that may push the price back into the 13 uh back into this high of 1330 and even higher prices let's take a look at some immediate price action from the uh, hourly chart this is the high of the 1331 and currently we do have minor support level into the 1320 as long as 1320 is going to hold we may still look for a projection higher this first blast is going to come over 13 1325 if we see the price over 1325 it's going to go back up to 1327 and 1330 and that is contingent on 1320 holding if 1320 is not going to hold we're going to come back into the 1315 if this level is not going to hold then we may see some uh, selling pressure coming in for about five points back into the 1310 so so this is it all right let's take a look at bonds and let's just look at the 30-year bond for now so the 30-year bond let's check uh obviously with the monthly chart let's give it a little bit more time here let's go to 20 year all right here we go all right so here's uh what's going on in the 30-year bond so we're currently we're trading into the 145.31 okay so this is where we're trading actually on friday we came in quite a bit from 146.28 uh area into the 145.30 uh so uh what we have from the monthly chart is basically right now uh in the last basically friday this is a sell on friday uh this is going to be the reference candle if we try to break below the 144 level if we break below 144 level this is going to be a short Okay, so I'm actually going to put an alert here because this is going to be rather interesting because I would like to be short. Okay, don't forget for those of you that are stock traders, you can look at TLT if you don't want to trade the bonds. Uh, over 148.30, this will assure a continuation higher back into the 152. So really nice trajectory when you're looking at the monthly chart. Let's take a quick peek at the weekly the weekly is still holding a 144 this is actually a bull flag right here and uh, i see it a little bit topping out uh like i said it's not into oversold area just yet so we may have another attempt for higher we've been trying really hard on working uh to establish 
a reversal of the weekly and definitely off of the daily. So right now, the line in the stand from the weekly chart is 144. If we break below 144.08, we're definitely going to come in. But you can see that we have a lot of bands here, a lot of bands of support that may hold the price in check. Let's check out the daily chart. Daily chart has a low, like I said, into the 144. Look, I, ju I just want to show you really quick this double bottom right here into the 136 and change. And since this double bottom here in October and November, we've been trying and establishing a new uptrend. So we have the bottom, higher, low, higher, low, and double bottom, higher, low. So what this means is that we have the recipe for uh, for a possible break to the upside as long as 144 holds and if we're gonna obviously break above uh, This 146 we it is imperative for the 146 level to hold and push higher through the 147 148 and back into the target of uh, Of 149. All right guys. This is all for now. Hope you all have a great fantastic week Don't forget that we have a brand new class that will begin in March uh, and if you want to start trading right away, you don't have to wait. You just uh, uh, you could just sign up for the class and uh, we'll give you access, immediate access to our trading room. We'll give you immediate access to all the class recordings, to manuals, etc. Plus, uh, in the trading room, you have plenty of time one on one with me consultations, et cetera, et cetera, to, keep, to get you back, uh, to get you on track ASAP. And then uh, come uh, March 25th, you could take the live class for the very first time. If you know how to trade and if you want to join our trading room, don't forget to visit our page. It is tradealaw.com for a slash live trading room where we day trade and swing trade futures and we swing trade stocks. Thanks so much, guys. Have a phenomenal trading week ahead. Don't forget, we still have a lot of earnings uh, this week, so it's going to be a really fun time to trade. Uh, we have a lot of stocks that are on our watch, and don't forget that these stocks are going to fuel our indices. Good luck, everyone. Have a fantastic week. See you next week.